In this video, we will learn how to convert one interest rate to its equivalent interest rate. I will discuss equivalent rates in compound interest, the nominal rates and effective rates, another lesson in general mathematics. Before we proceed, let's have you the following definitions. Equivalent rates, two annual rates with different conversion periods that will earn the same compound amount at the end of a given number of years. Nominal rate refers to the annual interest rate. It may be compounded more than once a year. And effective rate. The rate compounded annually that will give the same compound amount as a given nominal rate. It is denoted by i to the 1. Since equivalent rates have the same maturity value, it is denoted by f sub 1 equals f sub 2, representing two equivalent maturity values. They have the same formula of p quantity 1 plus j raised to the n, where n is equal to mt. Since principal and time or P and T are common both sides, and if we will eliminate them, it will not affect the results of the equivalent rates. Therefore, our formula is only quantity 1 plus J raised to M. Problem number 1. At what effective rate is equivalent to 9% compounded quarterly? As I said, equivalent rates is denoted by F sub 1 equals F sub 2. The two future values with the same amount. Focus only on quantity 1 plus J raised to the M. Where J is equal to I to the M over M. The left side is the effective rate whose value of M is equal to 1 while the right side is the equivalent rate quarterly whose value of M is 4. Since our problem is 9% compounded quarterly, replace it to the M of the right side, which is equivalent to 0 0.09. To simplify the equation, since ones above on the left side are exponent and denominator, it is imaginary or not be written. So on the left side, we have 1 plus i to the parenthesis 1. To simplify the right side of the equation, let us divide 0 0.09 by 4. Its quotient is 0 0.0225. Next, add inside the parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.0225 equals 1.0225. Using scientific calculator, simplify 1.0225 raised to the fourth equals 1.0931. To make i to the parenthesis 1 representing the effective rate totally independent, transpose positive 1 from the left to negative 1 to the right. Continue simplifying the right side. 1.0931 minus 1 equals 0 0.0931. And that is now the decimal part of the effective rate. To make it percent, multiply it by 100. So we have 9.31%. Therefore, for this particular problem, the effective rate equivalent to 9% compounded quarterly is equivalent to 9.31% annually. Another one. For our problem number two, what is the equivalent interest rate of 10% compounded monthly to compounded quarterly? On the formula, we have 2J. Monthly will be assigned to the left and quarterly to the right. J is equal to I to the M over M. Since the given problem is monthly, 12 will be assigned to M to the left. Monthly interest will be converted into quarterly, so M to the right will be substituted by 4. Since the nominal interest monthly is 10%, on the left, 
i to the m will be substituted by 0.1. After substituting 0.1, further simplify it by dividing by 12. The result is 0.0083. Next is add inside the parentheses. 1 plus 0.0083 equals 1.0083. After simplifying the left side, we will simplify the right side by making i to the parenthesis 4 independent. To eliminate the exponent 4, we will raise left and right side of the equation by 1 fourth. By that, the exponent 4 in the right side will be cancelled, only remained as 1 plus i to the parenthesis 4 over 4. Simplifying the two exponents 12 and 1 fourth on the left side, 12 and 4 will be cancelled with common divisor of 4, remained is 3. So we have now on the left side 1.0083 cube. By the help of scientific calculator, simplify 1.0083 cube, the result is 1.0251. To continue making i to the 4 at the right independent, transpose positive 1 from the right to negative 1 to the left. Next, simplify the left side. 1.0251 minus 1 equals 0.0251. And to make i to the parenthesis 4 on the right side totally independent and to eliminate the denominator 4, multiply both sides of the equation by 4. So that the denominator 4 on the right side is cancel, making i to the 4 totally independent. Multiply also 4 on the left side, 4 times 0 0.0251 equals 0 0.1004. Representing the nominal or equivalent rates to quarterly or i to the parenthesis 4. To convert this decimal value, multiply it by... 100. So we have 0 0.1004 times 100 equals 10.04 and annex a percent sign. And finally, we have now the nominal rate equivalent to quarterly which is equivalent to 10.04%. Therefore, the effective rate equivalent to 10% compounded monthly is 10.04 compounded quarterly. Once again, if you learned from this video, please do like and share. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can also browse this channel for further math video lessons for your virtual learning. Thank you for watching.